in Cars 3, there's a child car, um, and everything else is like an adult car. So it got me wondering, was Lightning McQueen once a child car? Did he grow up into the car he is? Or is this child car doomed to be a child car forever? It's, it's baffling my mind. Do these cars grow? Do they stay the same? I don't know. But let's talk about Cars 3. Now, <laughs> of course, we've got three Cars movies and only one Incredibles movie, which it drives people insane. But not to worry, D23 confirmed that The Incredibles 2 is out in less than a year. So we got that to be excited for. But for now, Cars 3 has happened. Finally, the movie we've all been waiting for. Our favourite characters from the Pixar universe, these talking bland-ass cars. Um, yeah, it's no secret that the Cars films are the weakest in Pixar's, you know, huge library. But, you know, I enjoyed the first one. The second one was a bit shit, but I didn't hate it. I just, I have only seen it once and I plan to keep it that way. So Cars 3, I was a little bit looking forward to because the trailers really they were different it really made you think this is going to be something new something fresh it was dark the trailer was really dark you know it started off with Lightning McQueen having a crash he's flying through the air he's he's pretty much dead um but in this film it happens for about three seconds and then it cuts straight to eight months later so you never really see him like you see the crash, but you never see much of the aftermath of it. It's just sort of like, yeah, he's he's a bit depressed now and he might be retiring. So don't let the trailer fool you. That's not the meat of this film. But uh, the plot is that Lightning McQueen, you know, he he's a race car. He's been at it for a long time. You know, he's having his banter with his friends on the track. And then this new car comes along, Jackson Storm, played by Army Hammer. You know, he's fast. He's like the fastest car that's ever hit the tracks. And he is beating Lightning in every race. And it is Lightning McQueen's worst season yet. So um, he has to go back to, I guess, car school. Um, and he has like a personal trainer, a new character called Cruz Ramirez. Um, so he has to go back and train again to become this better, faster car to beat Jackson Storm. Um, and it's like a Rocky movie, I guess, where it's like an underdog story. But at the same time, there's quite a lot going on in the middle that drags the movie back and makes it less good than it should be. I mean, I didn't hate this movie. I thought it was perfectly fine, but it's not brilliant. And that's what I'll say. It's really not. It doesn't compare to most of Pixar's films. The only one I can really compare it to is Cars 1 and 2 because it's a Cars movie and those never were great. So, um, yeah, there are things to like about this film. The characters are great. I mean, I'm glad that this time Lightning McQueen is the main character and not Mater. I mean, there's nothing special about Lightning McQueen. He's not exactly a top-notch Pixar character, but he's better than Mater, and having Mater as the main character in Cars 2 made that movie a lot worse than it should have been, and he has very limited screen time here. I think they learned from it, and this is very much McQueen's tale. Uh, but all the posters advertise it as like this rivalry between Lightning McQueen and Jackson Storm, and Jackson Storm really doesn't have that much screen time in this film. Um, for a lot of it, you know, McQueen's training to beat him, but he's doing his own thing in Florida, so you don't really see much of him, so it felt like kind of a waste of Army Hammer's talents, but, you know, uh, he was a cool character, I like the design, and I'll say this, the animation is pretty much flawless, it was really good, all of the racing scenes look amazing, uh, I didn't see this film in 3D, but I imagine it probably does make it a little better for once, but every time a race was happening, I was really engaged in it, funnily enough, because it just looked really good. It looked really real. I mean, yeah, these cars have faces and eyes, but it just looked... You were in that moment. And there is a really cool scene where Lightning ends up at a uh, demolition derby. Um, and that was really cool. The, the, uh, like, the animation on that, it was, it was, like, flawless. It was really good. But yeah, there are things in this movie, like Cruz and McQueen's relationship... It's good to a point and then it gets a bit boring because it's always the same thing in each scene. They're always talking about the same thing and doing the same thing. So I sort of wish they did a bit more with that. Or I sort of wish they had a bit more of the Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen rivalry. What are you doing? So yeah. Um, but it was, it was the sort of film that kids will probably like. But if you're under, if they're under the age of like, I don't know... Eight, then they'll probably be pretty bored watching this. I mean, there were kids in my screen and they were just sort of on the floor playing with like 
whatever popcorn bags i don't know so yeah I, i'm not gonna say this film's brilliant for young kids but i'm also saying it's not like good for adults so there's got to be an in-between that this movie was based for but i just don't know where it is uh the only new character that stands out at all is um cruise the other ones are so bland and forgettable that i don't even know what they're called i think there's a dude called sterling and you know it, it it's it's fine but there are things in this film to enjoy for definite so I'm not going to flout say Cars 3 is shit because it's not, but I'm not going to say, you know, watch it immediately. I mean, it's much better than Despicable Me 3. So if you're thinking of watching a threequel this weekend, it's it's got to be Cars because Despicable Me 3 really isn't a great movie. Uh, neither is Cars, but it's, it's much better than that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't have much more to say about Cars 3 apart from the fact that, yeah, you might enjoy it. If you like these movies, I mean, if you don't like these movies, this is not going to win you over. But if you have enjoyed these movies in the past, then, uh, yeah, you'll probably enjoy Cars 3 quite a bit. So, if you have seen Cars 3, comment below and let me know. Um, and I'll be back very soon. I've got another trauma review coming up, as you know. And also, Game of Thrones premiere starts on Monday, so expect episode-by-episode -episode reviews of that. So, th thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.